Welcome to Joystick my friend. In this video you are going to learn to write a program to print the calendar of a given month and year. We'll take the month and the year as input from the console rather than hard coding them in the program. In this video you are also going to learn how to print the calendar of an entire year in Python. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into coding the program straight away. Python has a calendar module that makes it convenient for us to print the calendars and perform operations on them. Thus, we'll first import it. So we are going to write import calendar. And now let me write the main function. So I'll type the main keyword and there you go main function created. We will now write the code to take the month and the year from the console. For that, we'll use the input function. So before that, we are going to declare one variable v underscore yy. This is going to store the year taken from the console. And then after the equals to sign, we are going to write input and within it, we are going to write a message enter the year. We'll have to type cast this into integer because input function returns a string. And we are going to declare a second variable v underscore mm. This is going to store the month taken from the console. So it will again be input function and within its brackets, we'll write the message enter the month. All right, and we are going to typecast it again into integer. There you go. We'll now print the calendar of the month and the year entered using Python's calendar module. So within print, we are going to write calendar of curly braces comma curly braces and within format we will pass v underscore y y comma v underscore mm so it's going to print calendar of year comma month now within print we are going to make use of the month function of the calendar module to which we'll pass the year and the month taken from the console so it will be calendar dot month all right and within its brackets we'll pass v underscore yy which is our year and v underscore mm which is the month now let's run the program and check the output okay so let's quickly run it as you can see it is asking me to enter the year let me enter 2022 and let me enter the month uh, 04 which is april the program says calendar of 2022,4 is and you can see the calendar of April 2022 is right in front of you. What if you are asked to print the entire calendar of a given year? We can do that too using the Python module. So for that within print we are going to write a message first calendar of the entire year curly braces is and within format we are going to pass v underscore yy because it contains the calendar taken from the console and in the next line within print we are going to make use of the calendar function that is available within the calendar module this time so it will be calendar dot calendar again and within its brackets we are going to pass v underscore yy all right let's run the program and check the output so it's asking me to enter the year i'm going to enter the year as 2022 then it's asking me to enter the month so let it be three this time and there you go you can see the calendar of the entire year 2022 has been printed and it's right in front of you on the screen january to december if you want to see space between the days over here in this calendar then you can do that too by modifying the second parameter and the third parameter of the calendar method let's enter five as the second parameter which will throw in a little horizontal padding and then two for providing vertical space let's run the program and check the output again all right it's asking me to enter the year again so it will be 2022 
and let me enter month that's basically for displaying the calendar of a given month and a year and you can see what i was talking about now you can see spaces between the days in the calendar of each month of 2022 so you can manipulate the spaces between the days horizontally and vertically in a particular calendar in this calendar you see that the month starts on monday what if i want to start it on wednesday let's do that too but first i am going to comment out these lines of code to avoid any kind of confusion now within print we are going to write calendar that's for calendar module dot we are going to make use of the text calendar class available in the calendar module and uh, to its constructor we are going to pass calendar dot fitness day because we want our calendar to start on fitness day and then we are going to make use of format month method and we'll pass as its parameters v underscore y y comma v underscore mm okay now let's check the output all right it's asking me to enter the year let me enter 2022 and this time i'm going to enter january and you can see that in this calendar the month starts on fitness day rather than monday there is one interesting class available in python's calendar module that i want to tell you about in this video using python's calendar modules html calendar class you can generate the html code of the calendar of a particular month and year let me show you how so for that we are going to first declare a variable p underscore html calendar and after the equals to sign we are going to make use of calendar modules html calendar class all right we are just creating an object of the html calendar class within print using this object created we are going to invoke the format month method within whose brackets we will pass v underscore yy and v underscore m the date and the month now let's run the program and check the output okay so it's asking me to enter the year 22 and let me enter 5 and there you go you can see on the console this program has printed the calendar of may 2022 you can save this code in a .html file, run that file on the browser and you will see the calendar of May 2022 appearing in the browser window. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the calendar module through the Python program to print the calendar of a given month and year. Do let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. Goodbye and take very good care of yourself.